You know the famous saying, it's never ogre until it's ogre. And that statement is just rides today. Holy macaroni. I am just <laughs> still in shock for what practically just happened out of nowhere today. Like, I guess, like, if you know what I'm talking about, you'll probably get, like, the hint of, like, what I'm wearing right now, but for those of you who somehow don't know, let me catch you up to speed. For, like, the past year or so, there's been, like, rumors stating that there's a fifth installment in the Shrek movie series. A series that is pretty much loved by all and for good reason. The first movie back in 2001 was like famous for like subversing the fairy tale genre and like completely turning it on its head with all these twists and clever humor, amazing voice acting, stellar writing, etc. Like the first movie is still a timeless classic that still holds up very well to this day. And then Shrek 2 came along in 2004 and that practically just blew away everyone's expectations. It's another perfect ex it's another perfect example of how to make a sequel. Like, it just, by taking everything that was so great about the original and just cranking it all up to 11. Like, new characters, new world building, like a stronger and a stronger story in terms of stakes and emotion and drama. Like, it, it's just so, like, I, I, I cannot stress enough how it's just, like, one of the greatest sequels not just to an animated movie, but to just any movie ever made. And then Shrek the Third happened, and let's just say that isn't so much of a loved film. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Like, many fans of the franchise consider that to be the worst movie. Like, not just in the, f not just in the series, but one of the worst DreamWorks films, period. And, like, while I don't think it's one of the worst DreamWorks movies, it is kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie. It does... It really, like, sets up these good ideas, but just... They just com Most of them just completely, like, fall flat on their face. And, and it's just a really disappointing experience overall. Now, Shrek Forever After, when that released in 2010, that was advertised as the final movie in the entire Shrek series because of... I think it was because of how poorly received Shrek the Third was, but Shrek Forever After was meant to be the final one in the series, and if you watch that movie, it definitely feels like a conclusion. Like, it's definitely, in my opinion, the strongest in terms of emotion, and I definitely think it's the most underrated of the Shrek films, since many fans seem to complain about how rushed it is, and how a lot of, how a lot of elements, like, don't feel complete. And I can understand that to, to an extent, but I really think that they nailed a lot of the aspects they were supposed to and concluded the franchise, concluded Shrek's story in a very, very satisfying way. So after that, there was not really much to tell about Shrek. I mean, there has been like, over the, over like the 2010s, there has been like talk with the production team behind the movies of whether or not there will be a fifth one, and they were like constantly saying that they just want to take a break from Shrek's saga. And, like, and it was understandable. Like, you don't want to, like, a good mind is not wanting to, like, milk an IP f beyond what it's worth and, like, just turn it into something everyone used to love, into something that, like, now everyone has to endure. So, after Shrek Forever After, there was... Puss in Boots in 2011, I think, or 2012, um, and, like, it's a movie that genuine, genuinely has, like, a mixed reception, like, I think it's a decent film for what it is, but it's not nowhere near on the same tier as, like, the good Shrek movies. And then, like, t like, about ten years later around that, we get a sequel to Puss in Boots titled Puss in Boots The Last Wish, and... 
nobody expected it to be as good as it was. Like, that one probably blew everyone away, maybe more than Shrek 2. Like, like just with the animation, with the voice acting, with the writing, with, like, the super, super strong emotional core that may just be the may just be in tie with Shrek Forever After as the, like, most emotional movie in the franchise. Like, it, nobody expected that movie to be as good as it was, but it ended up being one of, probably, in my opinion, one of the best animated movies in the 2020s so far, and for very good reason. So now that I caught you all up on the Shrek movie lore, let's talk about the upcoming Shrek 5 and everything we know about it so far. So over the past year or so, I'm gonna say this again, this movie has been rumored. Like, I personally, like, didn't really talk about it much because well, because, like, it's really been rumored so far. It's not, like, a confirmed thing, like, Disney with Toy Story 5. That's why, like, I made a big video on that. I will eventually make a video on Shrek 5, but it was basically a rumored thing. Like, the cast, the original cast, Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy, Antonio Banderas, they all talked about, like, how they would be enthusiastic for a fifth film, and... That got many fans actually excited, to my surprise. Like, personally, I would have never thought, like, a fifth Shrek movie would be necessary. Like, a couple of years back, because of, like, how the franchise just, like, you know, satisfyingly concluded with Shrek Forever After. And, according to some research, this movie has been delayed multiple times throughout the course of, like, ten years, so this movie has, like, been in production, like, has been on a production roller coaster for, like, maybe the past decade or so, like, it, it was, like, originally, I think, set to release in, like, 2019, and then, like, it got moved to 2020, and then, like, it kept getting pushed back, like... It's... it's been quite a ride following news and rumors on this movie. And even, like, Eddie Murphy himself, voice of Donkey, has stated that he would really like a Donkey movie. Like, he'd be enthusiastic about a Donkey movie. And, according to many sources, a Donkey movie is now in the works. Now, that's gonna be a topic for another time, because today we are talking about the big news that just dropped. DreamWorks confirmed it. Like, it, it's happening. Shrek 5 is happening. The Ogre's back. The All-Star's back. It's... It is the event. So, the first official promotional material we just got is the new poster that just dropped, which is... Green number 5 is shown with a sky background. Some, If you look closely at that number 5, you'll see some familiar ears from our green monstrous friend. And with a slogan above it saying the All-Star Returns, meaning that DreamWorks has acknowledged, officially acknowledged, just how iconic the opening of the first movie is. Which I'm hoping that in this movie they'll somewhat pay a tribute to Steve Harwell for, like, practically inspiring a generation and, like, giving a generation that, like, amazing like, iconic song over an iconic opening to one of the most iconic movies of all time. And it even says it'll be in theaters on July 1st, 2026. So, as far as we know, it has been confirmed that the original cast is returning. Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz, and Antonio Banderas. I also mentioned that this film is getting a release in 2026, and... <laughs> Oh, 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 wow, 2026 looks to, like, just be a packed year for, like, sequels and adaptations, like, you know, I do, I do prefer, like, more original movies in a year, but, like, 2026's lineup just looks like, it looks insane, like, n like, we're getting, a like, we're getting Avengers 5, 
We're getting the new Avatar The Last Airbender movie that takes place after the events of the show. Um, we're getting uh, we're getting a second Mario movie and a second Mutant Mayhem Ninja Turtle movie. We're gonna get like an animated Cat in the Hat movie, which I hope to God is good. Um, we're getting Toy Story Five, a movie that another movie that people are skeptical about, which, which I am a little bit too, but I do have I am like a little bit optimistic as well. And now like we're also getting. <laughs> Shrek 5, Shrek 5, Shrek 5, Toy Story 5, Mario Movie 2, Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem 2, um, new, uh, first Avatar movie, um, f um, fifth Avengers movie, 2026 is gonna be, like, such a packed year for, um, movies and animation, like, it is gonna be, like, the box office is just gonna explode. Like, I am calling it right now. Like, everyone's gonna go watch these movies. The box office is going to blow up. Like, it's gonna be a massively successful year for all these companies. Like, they're gonna be swimming in money like Scrooge McDuck. Like, it's gonna be insane. Literally insane. So anyways, that's all I have for now. What do you guys think? Do you think Shrek 5 will be good, or do you think it's an unnecessary sequel? Let me know in the comments section down below, and remember to keep calm and appreciate all your layers.